this is our job for the next couple of days uh, we're gonna build off this set of steps uh, clean these up add on to it this got dug out because uh, they had to take some trees down and for the new power lines coming in they dropped some trees messed up the septic <laughs> they had to fix that and this here was an underground water line that when uh, like a 90 foot pine come down smacked it broke so they had to dig this all up so we decided we're gonna clean this up a little bit and uh, make some friendlier steps make a little patio area these are all little rental cabins but like I said I just figured I'd take a quick shot but there's the new pole but this is a right away for other other properties too so but we're gonna be cleaning this up and that'll be uh, what we're doing today we teared this off two more steps I'm gonna go in put another six by six across but I'm gonna this is probably gonna be it here I'm gonna put a couple pieces of rebar in to hold that put another tier back there then we're gonna plant some stuff in here and here but. <laughs> Grab some batteries when I go home. I'm gonna dig around that one beam and then it will set settle down a little more level. Now I'm looking at it. Yeah, we didn't realize this morning my wife came out with me to uh, do the flower pots with me. And uh, we got that roughed in, but this is kind of the idea we're getting after. So, Kind of what I had thought in my head of, I don't know, a month or so ago when I looked at this job. But we're going to continue planting those up there. And then uh, this down front will be all uh, black mulch. We're gonna weed paper the steps, put new three quarter stone in them. And we're gonna do some plantings up between that uh, lattice work and the steps. A little bit of bark moss, but up top will be all stone other than there'll be a one little L shape. Actually probably a U shape of bark mulch. And uh, I'm thinking about putting another six by six to keep that stuff, the stone separated from it. Uh, we'll figure that out today. But other than that, I just want to take another video where we're at. Um, I didn't realize the battery was dead. That's one thing. I left this camera last night. I forgot it. Got down like 40. Uh, I'm finding these uh, GoPro batteries don't like cold at all. So but we'll, we'll get back to it.
All right, we're gonna add one bush to that. I got him at the house, so we're gonna do one more with the yellow in it behind there. That mound will be bark mulch, and behind that's gonna be all three quarter stone, so they can have a sitting area. Alright, we're gonna do a quick walk around. Got that hill retained with this wall and added some steps, a few plantings. Um, put this stone down. I believe they're gonna put a picnic table. When I break for lunch, I'm gonna come back with some 24 by 24 pavers, probably put four of them to set that grill on. And then uh, this one's wrapped up. And I believe next week we'll be starting on one of the other two, if not both. These barrels have stone in the bottom of them, so there's a pretty good reservoir of water. So if they don't pay attention to them for a few days, it shouldn't bother them. It's another reason I started using these uh, galvanized pots. I like the idea how you can fill the bottom with stone. It gives it a little bit of, most roots will chase down to that water. Of about any plant, tomato plants and everything do that. So. But I just figured I'd do another quick shot, show you where we're at. I'm going to do the final on this one. Pretty much got the stone all in. Put a couple pavers down, throw the grow on. And this will uh, look pretty good. On this side here, we're just going to be uh, cutting this stump down, probably that one down. And we're just going to dump a little gravel here, put a berm. Uh, just so people don't want to pack there or uh, They're just nervous so if you leave that open someone will try to sneak in there with a car when they're renting one of these camps So uh, we're just gonna cut these down probably a good way to finish my day off That's an oak stump, so it's a little interesting cutting it, but We'll get it And over here we're gaining Get that up there. I got the upper part we just got to put the stone up there, put the weed paper down, put the stone up. Overall, this is uh, covers up the erosion problem we had when they had to do the new water line and stuff. So, but we added a couple little things. It'll look good. We got one more step to do with stone. Probably just sneak in with the BX and dump the stone in with that. But uh, over here, I just cleaned up a little bit and it makes my job look better too. So. But when we're done, I'm thinking about bringing a little bit of gravel to face this road a little bit. and uh, Needs a little bit. It's down to the potato size stuff. We'll put up some three-quarter road pack over it. I think it'll be nice. And put a calcium on it. Keep the dust down. All right. I just want to show that's where we're at right now. Might be calling it quits for today in a few minutes. So it'll be tomorrow probably before we do any more. Uh, this side of the road, we're just going to berm that up a little bit and put back mulch i think we might put a pot or something there or maybe a whiskey barrel tip some flowers coming out of it or something just to break it up but we'll figure that out next week